All right guys, there's been some significant features and updates to the DJI Go app and the firmware, so I wanted to create a special video for you guys. So you can see down at the bottom of the list here, there's six important updates that have been made to the Mavic Pro, and I'm gonna go over those in more detail here. So the first thing is the dual remote controller option, and it's really only for training purposes. So you could have a co-pilot and it'll help them to train the operation of the Mavic. It's not going to really be a capability where you could have a separate pilot actually control the camera because you do not have full control over the camera because of really the yaw limitation. Okay, so the next item that I'm going to cover are the VR goggles. There's an option there. They haven't released the VR goggles yet but I just want to show you that. Seems like something that's going to be coming up real soon for us to, to try out. So there's an important update to D-Log. When it first came out, it really sucked. It had very little dynamic range in order to be able to grade the video properly. So they have made a update to D-Log, so there's a lot more dynamic range to be able to adjust it properly. There is also the art option, so that was missing for a while and we do have that now. All right, so the next item I'm gonna cover is the continuous autofocus mode. So you can see here, enable AFC mode. They added a switch, so you can actually turn that off. So when before you were flying and then you stopped, the camera would automatically focus and that could blow the shot that you're taking. So now with the switch you could actually turn it off. Okay. So you go in there and then you go ahead and flick that switch and then when you're flying and then you stop it's not going to automatically focus and again ruin your shot you can still tap to focus so it's kind of funny this goes back to when the Mavic originally came out there were issues with soft images because people were forgetting to tap to focus well now they brought it back but you could turn back on automatic focus continuous automatic focus if you wanted to okay so the next item I'm going to cover is the sound recording so you do have an option now to record audio on your videos that are saved onto your phone. And so that's kind of a cool option so you could actually record the, the sounds, the surrounding sounds through your phone or tablet device. So here's an example here. All right, so going back into the app, I'm going to show you another important feature and it has to do with the sensor page. This is a new page here that they added and so you'd go into this section here, scroll down to the sensor section and it's going to show you the IMU so that tells you, that's the accelerometer so it tells you angular velocity and also uh, motion and with the compass that's also another important thing I think that's a big feature seems like there's been people who have been experiencing flyaways because they've had a problem with the compass being affected either by a metallic bridge or some other metal magnetic effect active track they boosted up the speed that it could track a moving object so now it's at 15 meters per second or 33.5 miles per hour so that's a great update all right, so I've got a lot of great videos already that I have on my channel, and there's a lot more videos coming up. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I've got a lot more coming up for you guys. Thanks for watching.